What's up, my Roblox Force? This is Ryan from World Gameplays, and today we're playing some more Doki Doki. Last video was episode 10. Hopefully, you guys all enjoyed it. This is episode 11 now, so you guys, you guys gotta get with the times. All right, so now, like I said, I'm gonna keep going for Natsuki because you're just uh, you know freaking me out. You kind of give me the creeps, so I'm gonna go for happy little stuff. Heart. That's a good. That's a good one. That's Mirage. That marriage. I also thought that was marriage. But, oh, that's what I can see. Cute. Bouncy. Forgive. Oh, whoa. Oh, wait, what? Are there specials ones? Or... Huh. Okay. Lust. I don't like lust. Whoa. What is going on with this? One, 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 one. I don't like that. Imagination. Oh, so it's just like counting, but like. We're just going up by one. Sweet. A sunny. Bed. Wink, wink. Um, fluffy. Silly. Loth. You're not even on the page no more. That's not how page numbers work. Play. Who am I getting? It doesn't look like. Is that Monica? I don't think Monica has the white belt, does she? No, she might. I don't like that Monica keeps jumping from down there. I don't know where she's at. I can't touch her. I touch you guys, but I can't touch her. Mm. Cheer. Oh. Okay. Stop it. Light pop. There we go. Boop. <laughs> boop, boop. Daydream. Alright. Sugar. Valentine. Games. Oh, what the heck? I don't like that. Uh, no, Yuri, don't you dare come up to me after that. I don't know what that was, and I'm a little shaken. Yuri, just, just go. It's not the, not the time. Just, just turn around and go. Yuri, why don't you listen to me? I thought you loved me. Yuri. Hi, Ryan. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I put my best tea today. Monica! I told you not to. Ugh. Is she really late again? And consider it as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? I always yell, so I can relate to her. You do not tell people not to yell. People yell on good time, good fine. Yes. What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Look, I did something about, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. But I don't think we need any more girls in this club, to be honest. Because then they're all paying attention to my character. And they're all fighting each other over it. I don't like it. And we just get another guy. So it's like, kind of split pretty even. And he's like, yeah. Wait a second, I text my brother because I don't want to cut these videos up. Because this is so, this is so fun to make. So I text my brother because he asks questions. Okay, I texted my brother. Alright. <laughs> So, Natsuki, nobody cares. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, oh. Did you go to her? I see you. You've been eating your old vitamin C, K, L, L, M, P, T, R, B, G, and F. All those good old vitamins. Because you're just going to get growing. It's like you got taller, too. Why don't you go look for coins in the vending machine or something? <gasps> Oh man, I'm the last one here again. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Start in this club and still try and make it time for piano? Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival too. Anyway, Ryan, what did you want to do today? 
I was thinking we could go ask me. I ain't, the, I ain't no club leader or nothing. Go ask you two talk about it. Just leave me out of the discussion. Okay. We already have plans today. Huh. Is that so, Yuri? I never agreed to anyone's plans. Yeah, Yuri. I said you. Did you go shorter now? Oh, it was her. So we were picking ones for Monica. Huh. Your eyebrow. What, what are those? You have this eyebrow right here. You have an eyebrow. What's that? Is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Ryan's already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. I never once said I wanted to read today. I told you to go turn around and walk away. I, do, you, do you not listen? Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? I... I suppose... I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes! 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 Okay. <laughs> um, thank you for understanding, Monica. Another request? Come on. You know, it shouldn't be kind of make me do all these things, because, you know, I don't feel like it. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? You said this yesterday. I said I didn't care yesterday. So why not just do it now? I have time to talk to Monica because it feels like I guess she wants to talk. I also want to go want to talk. To, I just honestly want to go talk to Natsuki because she got yelled at like by some demon. Make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea and some slight deja vu. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small pitcher from the shelf. The kind with the filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this into the teacher's desk and then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. I'm sorry if I sound a little snuffy today. I might be get catching a little cold. If so, I'm still gonna record videos. It just might. You guys must not want to watch them as much because I can't speak. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she she really the the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms, especially because of her long legs. She appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks. I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. Th th that's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries to the classroom. Why is it the same thing as yesterday almost? Ah. Did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling out the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Yeah, I keep thinking this is the same episode like I just messed with the recording or clicked the wrong save file. No, it's not because in the last episode I, did, I didn't did record. Um, they were talking, they were arguing about um, the festival and everything. But... That so he brought out the festival, so it's not the same episode. It's not the same save file and everything. It's just I'm not sure why it's it might just be part of it for the effect. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? On board just waiting here. So decided to go look for her. Oh not again. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri. For Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. <sighs> What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. <sighs> a sharp inhale like someone is sucking air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach a corner and peer around it. Yuri? Yeah. Are you cut yourself again? And now it's rewinding again. I'm so confused about why it's almost the same thing. Black screen. Oh, God! Ah! I don't like that! No, Yuri, this is what I'm talking to Hisuki now. You're evil. I thought you were the normal person, but no, you're evil. You scared me to death. I don't know what that was, but I'm scared. Stop it. Bad. Don't think about what you've done in the corner. Um, wait. How did I? So I just had a really weird deja vu. So did I, and you scared the poop out of me. 
So, yeah, I think I'm the one who should be talking about this. I think you should go look out the window and think about what you've done. This hasn't happened before or anything, right? My head has just been a little fuzzy lately. I hope it has, really hasn't been showing or anything. I would hate for you to think I'm weird just after we started spending time together. I mean, everyone has a few unusual things about them. But expressing those things so soon after meeting someone is usually seen as inappropriate or unlikable. At least that's what I've discovered. When I was a bit younger, I think I would come on really strongly and get a little too intense. Makes people not want to be around me. So I started hating those things about myself. My exceptions with certain hobbies. And the way I can't control myself when I get too excited about something. So, I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. And nobody could ever like me for the things that matter most to me. Then it's just easier if I close myself off. But recently, something's been wrong. I don't know what it is. But every time we, we come to this club, my heart starts to go crazy. Like it's going to rip out my chest. It overwhelms with energy and emotions that I can't let out. It's been making me do weird things. I don't know why it's happening. Ryan, is it just me, or has Monica been acting a little off lately? I think you've been acting a little off lately. I think you guys should both go lock yourself in the closet for about four hours, and then see how you guys can make up things, and hopefully not find a way to end the world. Go. Go. The go. I said go to the closet. If you guys care so much about my opinion in this club, why don't you guys ever listen to me? She's always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club. But re recently, I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. I'm not crazy, right? Please tell me I'm not. I couldn't say anything before because she's always listening. But finally, we're alone. Can we just stay here for a while? Yeah. Oh, not this again. I just want to stay here. Just the two of us. We can stay here until the club ends. And then we'll have the club room all to ourselves. Nobody to interfere with our reading time. Nobody to make me feel like I'm stabbing myself in the throat. <laughs> that was a joke. Just a joke. I do like knives, though. It just sounds strange, but you wouldn't understand if you've never seen how beautiful they can be. Oh, there's Monica's face fuzzing into her. I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house sometime? I can show you my collection. I've gotten them all from various artisans. Artisans, artisans, same thing. I make sure to give them all a fair share of use. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. And that's why I'm happy you joined the literature club, Ryan. Now we don't need to be lonely anymore. Because we have each other. Every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the literature club. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. She's inside of you. Not to mention that other pathetic child. We can walk home together every day after school. And read together. Eat together. Sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect? It's everything we could ever want. Isn't that why you joined the club in the first place? No, I joined so I don't have to deal with this, but I still don't deal with it. It's almost like it was fate. The fate that we would meet each other. And now we get the happy ending that I've been patiently waiting for years for. Will you do that with me, Ryan? Who should I share my poem to first? How about I give you a good old drink of my soda? You know, that mountain lightning, that good old cheap stuff. Okay, I'm back. Okay. Natsuki, please save me. This was alright. Alright? Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's, anyway. I still can't really tell how much you actually care about writing. But either way, you're doing alright. Even though you're not really spending time with anyone but Yuri. I wish I could just spend more time with you. Oh, she's blushing. Her cheeks are the color of her hair and the ribbons. I still think it's nice. What was that? That was the wrong voice. I still think it's nice to have activities that we all participate in. So you better keep working hard. I mean... I know I'm not president or vice president or anything. I think she should be. She's taking the most motive. But that doesn't mean you can let me down, okay? So at least read mine now, too, for now. But just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me. So read it carefully, okay? Alright, so this is a little bit longer poem. See, I don't know, I'm starting... That Suki's starting to grow on me. I used to not like her and, like, want to get away from her, but she's starting to grow. Like, she's... I don't know. Now I know how she is as, more as a person. She's 
She's the only one acting normal now. I mean, she's starting... Her personality type is starting to grow on me. I don't know how else to bring this up. Oh. Okay. So, this isn't a poem. This is some type of letter telling us to do it. So, I'm going to read it like her. I don't know how else to bring this up. But there's been something I've been a bit worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days. So, you may not know what I mean. But she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and, and quiet and polite and attentive. Things like that. Okay, this is re really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try to talk into her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you are the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but you... S I don't know why. But you could put a comma there and it would be a lot better. And then no, no capital letter, it would be perfect. But please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with her, Yuri. And it really hurts me to see this happening. I don't know. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that. But right now, I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. Aww. She's willing to make cupcakes for us. As for Monica, I don't know why. But she's been really... you. Oh, at least that one had... Alright. She's really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now. And that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Don't let her know I wrote this. That's the right accent. I keep messing it up and I feel stupid. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. You're welcome. See, this is what I mean by Natsuki starting to grow as a person. Like... She may, like I said, she acts all sour in the club and at school and everything. But, I mean, she really is a pretty decent person. I mean, she cares. And, like, she took the time to write all of this. And it just just didn't blow it off. Like, you know what? She, she's just having back a couple days. Like, she's actually worried and wants to get her help. So that shows that she's a good person. No, don't do this. I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. No. Whoever's coming through your mind, stop it. I'm starting to think Yuri's the one who's controlling minds. Huh. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Maybe it's Monica. Can you hear me, Ryan? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yep, it's Monica again. Look, it's, Slin it's Slindy Girl. You and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Uh, I can't skip it. Uh, what just happened? No, it's not just Monica. Haha, <laughs> I did gotcha. You thought it'd just be Monica next, but no. I just don't want to talk to Yuri, though. Don't want to talk to her. She's scary. She make me poop my pants. I don't like that. Finally. <laughs> Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Ryan, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Well, I haven't showed Monica yet. So no. Get your slimy hands off of it. Please. Sure, I don't care, but you haven't shown it to Monica yet. <laughs> You're too nice to me, Ryan. I've never let that anyone as nice as you. I could die. No, not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Ray holds my poem to her chest. I'm gonna take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that makes you feel good when you when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself and reading it over and over. Okay. It's a little creepy, but you do you, I guess. I'm not I'm not gonna get involved in this topic matter. Ah! No! 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 I'll give myself a paper cut so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. I don't like it. <laughs> you get my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you really won't going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. 
Hurry, read it. Oh, no. I can't read it. It has blood and... Murder stuff all over it. And I don't like it. And the music changing. It sounds kind of... The music sounds kind of like Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. I don't like it. I don't like that one bit. It's scary me. Ah, the music's changing. <laughs> God. I know you guys might think I'm overreacting, but I'm not. It's <laughs> Stop it. Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you're going to tell the poem it's about. More importantly, I haven't doubted it with my scent. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? Ah! I told you guys in the beginning, like, oh, this game is a little creepy. And so you guys stopped watching it. Yes, it does get creepy. Uh. I, I think I'm going to vomit. You will do that. Just get out of my sight. See, next, I should bring a gun to school <laughs> in this game. Just bring a gun to school. Like, next time you try something like that, boom! Done. It's over. Jump out the window. Run. Well, depending on how high the window is. If, if, if we're on the on ground floor, then yeah, jump out the window and run. Run for Mexico. I think in this game you're like Korea or something. I'm not sure. Some Asian country. Because it's all, well, maybe. I don't know. I will be quiet now. Monica. Don't say that. Warn you, Ryan. No. But. I said no. I don't want it. A joke. The men walked into a club. In the club, there was a girl who liked him very much. They spent some time together, and she liked him even more. One day, the girl, re the girl realized she was in love with him. Before a disaster could happen, a third party intervened with her programming. Suddenly, the girl hated herself for being in love. This contradiction caused the script to derail. The universe started to collapse, but she killed herself just in time. Okay. Okay, everyone. You didn't read my poem. How dare you. It's time to figure out, it's time to figure out pre festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Mm-hmm. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Yuri, now you're breaking the fourth wall too. Natsuki's the only normal person. Me and Natsuki might as well leave this club. Hang out more because she's a really cool person. And yeah, get out of here. You have two buttons. Do, I, do they all have two buttons? Do they? No, she has three buttons. I mean, unless your buttons cover right here. But where's your other buttons? Why don't you have more buttons? Huh. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, you can make cupcakes. I know you're at least good at that. That was harsh. Yuri, you can. Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want as long as you think it'll help. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. We can't run a successful poetry club without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to make decorations and set up some nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Huh? What about Ryan? Ryan's going to help me. No. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I, I, I agree with that, Suki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from the extra pair of hands. Mine too! What, your cupcakes? Please. I can't say that word. I, I, no, I can't. Like you and bleep and bleep and bleep and bleep and bleep and bleep No. All you care is about dragging rock. Ryan around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey. I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Ryan decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. 
Just let Ryan make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Ryan, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Oh, jeez, everyone's getting a little angry. Masuki, charge your blah, 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 mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth. Jesus Christ. This is never going to end. Just make it a choice, okay? No. No. No, bad mouse. I don't want you. No. I made me click the wrong person. I don't wanna. But I think it's gonna make it. I'll say force. It's no like that. No, I didn't. There was nothing I could have done. Please forgive me, Natsuki. If I die in a river, if I, you find me dead in a river, please, please tell my family that there's no, there's no more toilet paper. Please tell them. Yeah, you picked me. We can be at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you bleeping kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then taking Ryan for yourself? What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling around right away from me every single time you're not included in something? Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? Uh, no, Yuri, you need to calm down, please. It would be beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. See? This is why Natsuki is a good person. She's the only one who hasn't gone crazy and tried having dreams of murdering me. Natsuki, just let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Ryan. Yuri is really something, isn't she? Maka giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. I hear breathing in the headphones. Please stop. Finally. Finally! This is really all I wanted. Ryan, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just go to my house instead. The whole day. With just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> Well, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could have imagined. I'm just addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you this much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? But if it feels so good, then why doesn't it feel more and more... Like something horrible is going to happen. Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Ryan. I have to tell you. I'm I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of, drop of blood in me, is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Ryan. Know how much I love you. I love you so much that I can't even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. What? I don't want it. I don't, you can keep the pen. It's okay, you can keep it. I don't want it back. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. I want you all to myself. I don't need nobody else. Nobody else I say I'm selfish. And I will be one of yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Ryan. Tell me you want to be my lover. You gotta get with my friends. Do you accept my confession? No, get out of here! <laughs> uh.
That was... Where'd you get the knife from, first off and second off? Jesus. I don't like this. I'm gonna get a drink of water because my voice hurts. Even though it's not water, it's soda, and I'm an unhealthy person. What would happen if I said yes? I don't care. Let's skip it. Alright. So this is weird. So she killed herself because oh and now it's like almost now it's night. I would have to click through all this. Yeah, nope. Well she died. And her body's slowly decaying. I bet we're gonna be here all weekend. Right, why is that? That's not a really special knife. But how would you hide that throughout school? It's just a normal like butcher knife. Just I have it in my pocket. No one knows. Yep, she's slowly dying and getting more and more pale. Huh. Huh. <sighs> she went crazy. Hopefully it doesn't look like we killed her because if someone comes in they're like, oh no, we killed her. All right, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me. I thought I was so. Ah! Ah! And she vomited all over herself. Asuki runs away. I'm here. Ryan, did something happen? At least her response was normal. It's like, did something happen? Come on, you can t just go ahead and say it. That's okay, just ran past me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here this entire weekend, Ryan? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. Oh. So the... Poem thing was about Yuri, the little that was again like someone so much at the club and all that stuff that they kill themselves just in time. So she was, huh? I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. What? I wasn't. Sh what? I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. Um. Well, no. Don't delete that, Suki. No. I'm almost done. I want, I want, I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from Trey and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really just have to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get in, get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I should, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Mm. I don't like it. Stop it. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Yeah, there you are. Hi again, Ryan. Um, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course we are already know each other, because we were in the same class last year, and um... Of course, <laughs> You know, I guess we can just skip over all that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore. Any, anymore, am I? That you're you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, Ryan. Well, that's not my real name. Uh huh. What are you gonna do then? Where are we? Can I walk around? Do I have legs? They should chop off my legs so I can't leave her. That sounds like something she would do. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about you, real, the real you. In fact, I don't know if you're a boy or girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. You do know I'm aware this is all a game, right? Could it be the possibility that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Man, if only you had paid a little more attention... This would have been a little 
bit less awkward, you know? Well, anyway, now that's now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About that whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kinda started the mess with her. And I guess I just drove her to kill herself. Just started. Oh, you kind of started? What? See, Natsuki was the only good person here. And again, I didn't like her. But she was the only good, true person because she didn't A, kill herself. She didn't. Well, just killing yourself doesn't make you necessarily a bad person. It just. You know, you guys know what I mean. It's not good to kill yourself at all. It's never a good thing. You guys. Sh you sh that sh no. It's a terrible thing. But. Like. She had to be deleted by the game. Like, she wasn't the one going crazy or anything. She was acting pretty normal for a girl to like a guy. She wasn't, like, obsessed. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. It just made her fortunate to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Ryan? Are all the other girls just programmed to, to end up confessing you, confessing to you while I watch the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Ryan. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll... You'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. Huh. In this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. I believe I heard right. There's something about in the files where I can delete a character. Like how I can delete characters and stuff. And I think I'm supposed to delete Monica. Because from what I've heard, this, this thing goes on forever. Like it's... It doesn't end. There's no skip button, so I don't feel like waiting that long. So, I am hey, I getting a Skype call with someone saying to figure that out. I'm going to still record it, so I might, you might hear a Skype call. If not, then you guys will see me opening up the files once I figure out how to do that. So, I'm going to try that. So, I'm just going to stop reading and let you guys read this. Yeah, I'm not. I'm out. Let me say it real quick, just in case. Oh, there is no more saves. Oh, okay. Alright, I understand. Let's click the Windows key. Alright, and I believe you go into Steam. Look at all these games I got. These are all from Ethan. Now, how do I... Now, I think I believe I go into... Doki. Okay, I think I go to Doki Doki Literature Club. And. How do I do this? Huh. I've played this game for 5.3 hours. That's a long time. What's in bed? Ah, uh, that's not something. Alright, I'm gonna Google it real quick. How to get into Files of a Steam game. Uh. 
I'm not looking at the soundtrack. I don't like how I need Doki Dokis if that helps. Hmm. Searching for the folder in the game, but I can't seem to find it anywhere. I have no idea where the folder of the Steam games are supposed to be. All your Steam games are completely below the game. Steam library and select properties. You can also right click on a Steam game. Steam library and select properties, local files, browse local files, and it'll open the game directory for you. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. So now I gotta go to my library and left click my games. Okay, now where is Doki Doki? Right click properties, is that right? Local files, browse local files, characters. Oh, so she actually did delete the characters. Delete. Okay. Did I do it? Let's go in the game. Yay, it worked! I deleted her. What's happening? Ryan, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Ryan. Space. Please hurry and help me. Help me. Did you do this to me, Ryan? Did you? Did you delete me? How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Well, now you don't exist. That's you get for being a demon spawn. Everything. I love you so much, Ryan. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you the only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You could stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. That's not true because, you know, I don't think this game's over yet. Ryan, you completely truly make me sick. Goodbye. Now what's going to happen? Something's gonna happen. There we go. I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... That's an incomplete sentence. I, I've made up my mind. Ryan, I know I said that I deleted everyone else. But that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it to myself to do it. Even though I knew they were, weren't real. They were still my friends. And I loved them all. And I love the literature club. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you... Then... Black screen. Okay. Seems normal. Look, there's no Monica. All right, there's no low games so to start a new game yet. Cause Monica's not here now. It's an ordinary school day, like any other. 
As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. I always tell myself it's about time I met, met some meet some girls or something like that. Hey Ryan! Well, there's there already is one girl. That girl Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. We used to walk to school together every day. And recently, we've been picking up that habit once again. Ryan, are you proud of me? Huh? For what? You know, for waking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. But you never say anything about it. Even though we, we walk to school together every day. Well, yeah, oh, she's not depressed no more because Monica doesn't exist. Well, she might be a little depressed. But she's able to wake up and get out of bed on time. Well, yeah. I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say it out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. If there's not too much more of this, I might make this the final episode. So it might be the finale. By the way, Ryan, have you decided to join a club yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not... I started to say what I always do. That I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But something tells me Sarah would take more offense to that now. As at all, how could I tell her the clubs are a waste of time? When she's starting a club of her very own. Oh, now she created the club. Actually, yeah. I think I decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me. Um, I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo. You meanie. Be patient and you'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let, let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. But I started to realize that, in a way, I envy her. When Sarah puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. The school day is as, is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stand up, gathering my motivation. Let's see. I recall the room number of, of the club from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third-year classes and, and activities. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah! Ryan! W what are you doing here? Well, I just... Huh? I glance around the room. Huh? So you're that Ryan that Sayori's always, always talking about. Th thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Ryan. We're the Literature Club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be, no need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're already- we're really strict or something. Ah. Sorry, Natsuki. Don't you love how conveniently they say to his name so we f figure out their names really quick? The tall one, whose name is apparently Yuri, seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems like the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet the both of you. I look forward to working with you. W working? Ryan, don't tell me. You're... That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. The Literature Club. Sayori's eyes lighten up. No way! No way! Ah! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! <laughs> well, if Sayori's this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention, there's four of us now. That means we can become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say! We have to celebrate! Uh-huh. What an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah! After all, Asuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise! <laughs> Sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room, where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray, and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Yuri. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen, a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little kitty cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make their ears. So cute! Wow, 
Those look amazing. Uh, well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sari grabs one first, then I follow. It's delicious! Sari talks with her mouth full and already managed to get her icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally back down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if, she's ever, if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, of course it is. I'm a pro, after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. As Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before sitting the down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole set of tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teacher gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I guess. <laughs> Already trying to impress our new member, Yuri? That th that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be my a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Ryan, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, you see, um, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. That Suki's head suddenly perks up. Like a little puppy dog. Like, oh, food. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. Guys, just real quick, I'm gonna make sure this is re recording still, because there's a chance that it's not gonna perfectly game message with recordings. Okay, it's still recording, and the recording's been going for 52 minutes and 52 seconds. I just gotta make sure, because I know some YouTubers I watch talked about um the game blue screening and stuff, and kind of ending the recording without you wanting it to, which I don't want to happen because this is a long part, and it said there's no, no point in saving and going back, so I don't want you guys to miss a whole part. Alright, but you know, I like a lot of things. Don't feel intimidated if you don't read much, okay? I'm certain we have, we can find something that we have in common. Hey, Yuri. Huh? Well, about, you know, the first thing he said. Manga? That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. Th don't just say it! For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides... Manga is literature too, you know? So, if Ryan wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. Aw, she wants us to read with her now. Aw. Natsuki, I want to do such a thing. However, it could be also nice for us to divers diversify ourselves a little. He can take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Ryan? M maybe. Sensing the tension, Sayori jumps in. Maybe we can all try something new. I think it could be fun. Oh, they look like they're holding hands. <laughs> and we'll all get to know each other a little bit better, too. I mean, she's already a better club club leader than um, Monica was. Because she's kind of inserting herself and saying things we all do together. That's the kind of thing uh, literature clubs do, right? Uh, I don't disagree or anything. Yeah. You're right, as usual, President. <laughs> Guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if, if I'm not the only one. Then as for Yuri. Eh? I, I have to read manga? Jeez. 
You're the one who suggested we diversify. We should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I, I, I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself. Excuse me. Ben. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interest yet, Natsuki. If, if you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a no novel, then I'll offer my gratitude to find a manga to read as well. Really? I, I mean, it makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. Can you trust me to find something that you'll really like, okay? Sam here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. J just, just you? Uh, would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind, oh, they're becoming friends. I love it so much. Yay! Not at all. I always go alone. So, yeah, me too. This is so cute. Sorry, shut up. <laughs> And shut down! You shut up! You stop! I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes. I look forward to it. As Suki and Yuri start to clean up the food. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, looks like it. It's, not to see, it's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Ryan. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little better with you around, Sayori. Ain't that the truth? Jeez. Oh, Aw, Ryan. Don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me that you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling pulling it off just fine. We're gonna make it the best club ever. Now that you join, every day is gonna be so much fun. Hey, Ryan. I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. Eh, there's actually something else. I want to thank you for getting rid of Monica. Oh, no, don't start this up. We were having such a good time. No. That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm president now. So does the president gain, like, all the power and, like, knowing and controlling? Huh. But I really know everything, Ryan. <laughs> I know how hard you try to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. Oh, no. And you may be the happiest girl in the world. I can't wait to spend every day like this. With you. Forever and ever. For F O R E V E. No. Eh? What? Wait, what's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Who? It hurts. Uh, I'm sorry. I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Ryan. Goodbye, Literature Club. Oh no, someone's talking. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Uh, can you hear me? I think so. <clears throat> Hi. 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 Um, so you know how I've been like practicing piano and stuff? Oh, that's what Michael voice sounds like? Not really any good at it yet, like at all. But I wrote you a song and I was kind of hoping that I could play it for you because I worked really, really hard. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm Oh, shoot, that's so the... So we've been listening to her piano the whole time. Every day, I imagine a future where I can be with you. Aw, she's singing. And it's for us! Be quiet so you guys can hear singing. Just move your hands right away into his heart. But in this world of infinite choices, what will it take? Just time, that's precious. What will it take? Just 
to find that special day. Oh, the game's over. When you're here, everything that we do is fun for them anyway. When I can't even read my own feelings, what good are words when a smile says it all? Dan Savato is talented. He's so talented throughout this whole thing. And he did the music? Does my pen only write better words for those who are dear to me? Okay, it's a little weird picture. Is it love if I hate or is it love if I set you free? I don't think I've ever seen Monica's little figure like that. Oh no, don't put my name there. Uh, what a way to end a great game. Probably one of the, this is probably one of my favorite games I've ever played. Because it's so complex and there's so much different things going on. This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand the literature club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to. Is it moving? Continue to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. A re reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I feel like it's moving down. So it's hard for me to read. <laughs> comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo the same hellish epiphany. For a time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all my dreams come true. For being a friend to all the club members. And most of all, thank you for being a part of the my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. Strip files missing or corrupt. Please reinstall the game. Alright, so the game is over. When I said reinstall, I might check that out on my own time. I might try start recording it. If it's nothing, it's just start over the game, then I will not upload it. If it's not, if there is something new, then I'll show you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a real good, good rest of your day. And if you guys like this video, please share and subscribe and all that jibble jabble. And above all else, if you guys like this video, go out and smile at someone new. Go go on the side of the road and just smile at someone new. Just doing that can brighten someone's day. And with that, get back to your ruby work.